So many people think that the climate crisis is still a problem of the future, that we still have a little bit of time left. But the thing is, we don't have time anymore. The climate crisis is here, and so every second counts. Every fraction of a degree is so important. We have to limit the global average rising temperature as much as we can because people are suffering today already. So many people from countries like mine in the Philippines are facing the reality of the climate crisis on a daily basis. And that is why I am a full-time climate justice activist now, organizing with Youth Advocates for Climate Action Philippines and Fridays for Future International. Because we know that the true power is with the people on the streets demanding for justice and action. We are seeing so many world leaders talking about climate justice and talking about climate action and pledging these net zero targets, but these net zero targets aren't enough. We need concrete plans that have no loopholes. We need our leaders to step up to the challenge and to finally prioritize people and planet and not profit. I know that there are so many challenges to this, but to me, as part of the youth climate movement, it's so simple because I refuse to compromise in our lives. What will you do for your children? How will they remember you? We must act now, and that means we need drastic emission cuts. We need climate reparations for countries in the global south most impacted by the climate crisis. We need to care for each other. Build a community that doesn't focus so much on the everlasting growth of the global north and the overexploitation of the global south. What we need is a community that comes together and unites, and a future that's safe, a present that's safe, a society that leaves no one behind.